Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to play uh, hacked ROMs. I already made one video of this a few years back, but some things have changed. And now there's a soft uh, a tool software to be able to use to uh, uh, do so. And instead of an IPS file, it uh, it comes up as a .bps file. We'll be using a Super Mario World hacks, for example. Before the first the first video I I did of this showing how to play hack games. Pretty much all you had to do was get a clean ROM version of whatever game it is that you were using, which would mean it would have to be like, for example, Super Mario World with a U in the uh, parentheses, or Super Mario World dot SMC, which is another abbreviation for a clean, clean ROM, original ROM. Uh, but some things have changed. Like I said, it's uh, no longer IPS file. It is. It comes up as a .bps file when going to this website. The website I'm using is SMW Central. Your primary SMW hacking resource, which is Super Mario World hacking resources. They have hacks for Super Mario World hacks, Super Mario 64 hacks, and Yoshi Island hacks. This is what the homepage looks like the main page but you'll need to go down here to where it's tools on the right hand side should be above documents you'll click on tools then you'll scroll all the way down to where you eventually get to uh, floating IPS flips uh, version 1.31 so And right there it is, floating IPS flips version 1.31, added 2015, no, June 29th of 2015. So you'll go over here to download for it. And then I'm using a Mozilla Firefox web browser, so my browser might be a little bit different from yours. But you're going to download and then click OK. I've already downloaded it, so I won't reopen it again. Re download it again. So now we'll go up here, back up. And then, the right hand side, we'll go over here to Super Mario World Hacks. And I've got the Super Mario World Clean ROM. Which, like I said, is a .smc. You can uh, look up clean ROMs on the internet. I su one of the sites I suggest is foreshared.com. Okay, we'll use the vanilla, for example, which has eight exits. The length is eight exits, which means eight levels. And difficulty is easy. But anyways, we'll click on the vanilla or you can go here and download the vanilla but whenever you click on the title I'll bring you to a screen like this and that'll kind of be what the main screen looks like it's a demo is why it's so short or it has so few exits but uh, anyways you'll click on download right here where download is and like I said, I'm using Mozilla Firefox web browsers. And once that window pops up, I'll go to OK. And then it'll be downloaded. Once it gets through downloading, you'll have another window pop up. And then you'll extract it to your desktop. And sometimes it may just be one file, sometimes it may be two files. Let's extract, extract it. The README file, it'll just be something that does this. It might have a little bit more information on it than that, but for the most part, it's that okay. I'll go over here, open my flips, and in your flips file, you'll pretty much have these here. Five should be like five items, but the thing you'll want to click on is this here that has the moon right there. You'll click on it. Okay. When that when you click on your uh flips IPS, you'll have a window like this pop up. I suggest clicking on settings first. 
and then uh, under when opening through associations uh, click on run an emulator by default I think it's it's on a uh, create ROM I think by default and make sure it uh, enable automatic ROM selectors on uh, select your emulator we're going to be using the SNES Super Mario I mean Super Nintendo emulator so we'll click on that after that you'll exit out of that then apply patch and I've got it on the desktop the ROM so I'll click on that and screen like that will pop up I'll click save the patch was applied successfully okay I'll exit out of that and see this is the uh, whenever you patch it there's the uh, vanilla original hack I did but once I patched it it's got it posted right here so now I exit out of all of that and I'll go to where I've got my emulator I've got it in a new folder so I'll go to SNES 9x click on click on it file load game and then desktop there's the uh, vanilla so I'll click on it and there it is But uh, that's all there is to that. Welcome to the vanilla. I have no storyline yet. And this is a demo, so. But anyways, that's it on that. And uh, the music playing in the background is uh, without end. Is this here? Without end. Uh, cry out, Invincible. So, that's it on how to uh, patch... Uh, hack game with the floating IPS flips file so I have another video of an older an older video of how to uh, play hack games and patch but like I said some things have changed since then so and you can't use that same method this time around so I may end up deleting that one